click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hey friends, in the previous topic, we have discussed about the conversion of the Fischer position formula of a particular molecule into the Hodge position formula. And based on that, we are going to talk about a certain thing about the glycosidic linkage. So what is glycosidic linkage? This is what I'm going to talk about in this topic. So now let's get started. In the previous example, we have discussed about to write the Hauss position formula and now based on that, we are going to talk about the glycosidic linkage. So in this case, the two monosaccharides, whenever they are combined with each other so as to form a linkage between the two monosaccharides, they are called as the glycosidic linkage. But now let us understand the definition of this in a clear manner. That is, the anomeric carbon atom of one of the monosaccharide molecule in a disaccharide is bonded to a carbon atom of other monosaccharide molecule through an oxygen atom and such kind of linkage is called as glycosidic linkage. So for that let me give an example so that we could understand this term in a very easy way. So maltose is basically a disaccharide molecule that means whenever it undergoes through hydrolysis it will form that is two monosaccharides but the monosaccharides are basically nothing but they are alpha d glucopyranose so that means we have to consider two alpha d glucopyranose and whenever this two alpha d pyranose are basically combined with each other they form maltose so now let me talk about the structure of the maltose so the structure of maltose is where we can find that is we have to combine two alpha pyranose that is glucopyranose and in this case suppose if i'm talking about the structure so this two are basically join with each other through this oxygen atom but now let me talk about the structure of this alpha glucopyranose so in that case we must understand that is this is the carbon number one carbon number two three four five and this is carbon number six where we can get that is ch2 oh so here also the same situation it will be so therefore this is carbon number one this is carbon number two carbon number three carbon number four carbon number 5 and this is carbon number 6 that is CH2OH. So talking about this carbon number 2. So in this case basically we can find that is the OH is attached on the to this carbon atom and where we can find that is the OH is on the lower side according to the Hauss position formula. So opposite to that that will be hydrogen and here there is a presence of hydrogen here there is OH and here there is OH and here there is H. But talking about this so this is nothing but the anomeric carbon atom of the alpha d glucopyranose and in that case we understand that is if this is alpha d glucopyranose then there should be h over here and there should be oh but the h will be on the upper side and the oh will be on the lower side but here basically we can find that is the valency of the carbon is basically maintained and this is how basically it will form a bond with the other that is alpha d glucopyranose so therefore we could say that is this is nothing but the anomer or this is nothing but the anomer carbon so similarly we can draw the structure of this one also so here also the similar condition that is what we could get that is here is hydrogen here is oh similarly here is oh here is h and for that to satisfy the valency here there is hydrogen and on the lower side there will be oh so now let me fill here also i have left those so this is what we have got in anomeric carbon atom over here as well as here also and suppose if this is also alpha d glucopyranose then we have to write the h over here and oh over here so according to the definition we have understood that is there is a linkage of one anomeric carbon atom towards the other monosaccharide and through the oxygen bond and that is how basically this linkage that is what you can see over here is known as glycosidic linkage and this plays a very important role in understanding the structure that is what I'm going to talk about in the future lecture so therefore this is nothing but the structure of maltose which is combined because of the alpha d glucopyranose and alpha d glucopyranose and because of which we get this glycosidic linkage which binds the two monosaccharides and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood what is glycosidic linkage and I hope I'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much